All right, good morning. This is Moina Bass Fishes. I'm Jim Moina, professional bass angler. Out here on Lake Coronas, Minnesota, today we have a, a photo shoot and just a fun outing with uh, Blackfish, one of my sponsors. Uh, right now I'm all by myself in this boat, but I'm sure we'll be doing a few photos later. Everybody's out in their boats fishing and filming. and. Um, so this lake's got smallmouth and largemouth. I think I'm gonna just key on the largemouths. I've been out here about 20 minutes, caught one largemouth about four pounds. And uh, then I just caught this, it's long and lanky, super long and lanky. It's really a weird looking smallmouth. Uh, it's maybe, I mean, it's really, it's almost shaped like a wall. It's almost walleye shaped. So, uh, and I caught it just flipping some grass with this uh, Ultraian AT jig. So um, that's kind of the plan is put this jig to use a lot, just like I did yesterday in Clearwater Lake. But I'll put this jig to use quite a bit out here and uh, should have a good uh, accumulation of fish by the end of the day. All caught and released, of course. So we'll uh, touch in throughout the day. As you can see, the conditions are, you know, light and variable winds. Uh, it's going to be up to highs in the mid-70s, which is pretty awesome for, you know, pretty nice for minnesota we got a front coming in tonight so the fish ought to be biting and we do have some cloud cover going so i expect a lot of eating fish a lot of chewing fish a lot of action got what bit off by a northern already so things are already going all right and we'll just check in throughout the day over all right a little update it's a couple hours later and i caught another largemouth close to four pounds on the ultrain at jig but what's really frustrating me right now is, I mean, I've caught a few more smaller largemouths, and there's like a, I think there's like a big school of, of them right here. And I'm having the hardest time catching them. And when they do bite, they, I have them hooked for a little bit, they fight a little bit, and they come off. Um, I mean, they came up on the top water right away. Um, it's a walking bait. And this bait here is one that has caught a few of them. Okay. Right there, that's caught a few of them, but uh, I've tried all the colors in that bait. They wouldn't even touch it, only that black one. So I'm really kind of frustrated. I've wasted a lot of time here and they're not even big fish. Although I did catch one a little over three pounds uh, about, I don't know, 40 yards that way. And then I came, so I left these fish, drifted down there, then came back and they, I still couldn't catch them. But there's a lot of them. They'll swim up to my baits and look at them and just, just can't, can't catch them. So I don't know. I'm going to probably just work down. I'm going to give up on these and work down the line. I did put a waypoint in case I want to come later in the afternoon. But it was kind of cool when they were, I mean, they did hit a few baits on top. Uh, like real bait, real minnows, and then that's what made me throw the top water, and they kind of swirled at that, and um, and then I don't know. It's been kind of a bust. Caught a couple, but way too much time invested. I'm sure if I would have just kept going along here, I probably would have caught a bunch more fish by now. Anyways, it's the update for now. Okay, well that's a wrap for uh, Lake Coronas. It was an okay day. I mean, the quality, man, this lake's got really good quality largemouth, and it's got some nice smallmouth. I never caught but the one that you saw, um, but I wasn't really trying for them either. I stuck with the largemouth, and uh, I don't know, they had a good, would have had a great five fish limit for sure. Uh, caught some, oh, well, yeah, I guess I got a couple. <clears throat> I got one in there I saved for the pictures. Um, that one, I'd like to show it to you. It's not, I mean, this one's maybe, maybe four pounds. Let's see if we can't get it out, out of here easily. Uh, well, anyways, I'll just, whatever. You've all seen a fish before. So the, um, the best way that worked for me today was just taking a jig and, uh, and it was an all-terrain tackle AT jig. In fact, that I can show you. 
I've caught a ton of fish, a ton of pike, a ton of bass on this thing. There it is right there. Just kind of getting a little war, worn rugged. This here is a, a Billy, uh, Billy Rub Craw. So that was the key bait. The other bait that caught some fish was this one here. This is a, that's called the Billy Rub Nook. On um, Fish that on a really light mushroom head style bait or style jig head so those were the two keys but really this was the that was the star right there pretty much um i tried some uh, cranks i tried some swim baits i did catch a couple on a swim bait i guess um i think i caught three two or three on that oh yeah at least three so maybe on the day maybe 15 to 20 fish um but yeah, this lake's the weed line is pretty much in about eight ish, eight to nine feet, and that's where I caught my fish. Just fishing the uh, deep weed edge. Um, the Nakota Ultrax with the spot lock feature was was nice to have. When I caught a fish, I could put that on and hold position. Uh, also key was the Lawrence Active Target, and that, it, and that was really key because a lot of times what I was looking for was um, you get on, yeah, I'd get on these weed areas and these weed edges, and a lot of it would just be short, really short weeds, and then all of a sudden there'd be a big cluster of weeds, a group of them, maybe half the size of the boat, <clears throat> that, would, that would stick way up higher than the rest. And that's what I'd, you know, you couldn't see them above water, the only way you could see him is with your active target, and so then I'd pitch over to over to that with the jig and uh, uh, fish it through that tall weed, and sometimes get a bite, and it would be a good one most of the time. The good quality, I mean, really good average size fish today. Um, biggest one was uh, maybe close to five, maybe I didn't weigh these fish. This is, I'm just estimating, you know, four and a half to five. And uh, caught a couple others around four, and some other nice three and a half pounders, and some three pounders, and um, so on down. So, what else can I tell you about the fish in the water? And that black blue was the deal uh, with the cloud cover. We got a water clarity of maybe about four feet in this lake, and with the cloud cover, it just I don't know, black blue worked pretty good. I, I switched to green pumpkin for a while, I was in kind of a dead area. So I don't know if it was just simply because I was in a dead area that the green pumpkin didn't work. And it was a little little more sun available at that time. That's why I switched to the green pumpkin, but I never never had a bite on it. But then again, like I said, the area itself didn't seem very good either. So um, caught three walleyes, two on the swim bait. I guess I can show you the swim bait. I did catch a couple bass on that and uh, got a couple walleye on it. So, all right, that's just not cool. <laughs> it's flying all over the place. So, this is a 3.3 inch swim bait on the all terrain tackle Smalley Smasher jig head. Uh, also had a walleye and another one on with the uh, uh, blade with a blade bait. So uh, that was kind of there's a ton of walleyes in this lake, a ton of them. I think if I would have played with that blade bait a little more, I think I could have caught a bunch of them walleyes. Because I swam I swam that swim swim bait through tons of walleyes and ended up just catching two. But man, there's there's one area out here where they're just stacked in there. And uh, that's where I did catch the two, but there was like, there had to be like at least 30 of them in there. Um, and then that blade bait, I picked that up later when I was just kind of around scraggler walleyes. And I did, I mean, I got two of them to bite it. So anyhow, um, that's it for today. I'm going to put the boat on the trailer and go have me a, a, grill, a grilling, hamburger, hamburgers on the grill. So... That's it. Over and out. It was a great day on the uh, Blackfish photo shoot. Did some photos today as well. 
blackfish, so that worked out. Anyways, over and out.